everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. So I'm so happy. This is about three days after my last market and it was so much fun and I actually did do a lot better and I got some more market footage than I normally do so I'm really proud of myself for that. And um, yeah, it was a really fun really good day. I I think the weather was just so nice that it was just a wonderful, wonderful market. So I had so much fun. This is the third market in a row that uh, consecutive weeks that I've been doing. So three markets in three weeks. It's been a lot of work, um, but also a lot of fun. So I've really enjoyed it. I think I have a market playlist. If not, by now I'll make one and I'll have it linked up here somewhere so you guys can check out other market videos that I've made. And if you're interested in some of the items that you've seen on the table and want to know where I got those patterns from, I do have um, videos that I've been making for maybe the past two months of every week I show you guys a ton of amigurumis that I've made each week and I make like 25 to 30 amigurumis in most weeks so uh yeah you can find most of those patterns in those videos I'll link the playlist for that as well anyways three markets in three weeks yes it's been crazy <laughs> um like I said, the weather was wonderful. There was a lot of people out and shopping and just the vibe of the farmer's market is just so much fun. And I'm truly blessed that um, I have the opportunity to be at this market and I really love it. Um, some things that I thought were interesting at this market. So I, um, I think I mentioned in the last video that bumblebees were not selling at all for the past two markets and this one I think I actually sold like three maybe so it's funny you're never really gonna sell the same thing you know because you think an item is super popular you stock up on it and then the following market you don't sell any of them so it's funny different things will sell to different mar you know different people at different markets so I thought that was really funny and something else is that these are mushy boys. They're mushrooms. Um, these are actually very, very popular as well, but I have not really been selling very many in the past, I think, three markets. So they've been at my table, but I have like a basket of them. So there's a lot of different varieties, different colors. They used to be very, very popular, but um, I think during these last three weeks, they have not, maybe four weeks, because I'm pretty sure they even before I started doing these three markets. But anyways, um, they definitely have not been as popular, but I still put them on my table because you just never know. Um, like I said, with the bumblebees, I have not sold really any bumblebees in the last two weeks until this one. So I thought that was interesting. You just never know. And I, I was thinking maybe it's because um, Bumblebees are more of a springtime and summertime item, but some people wanted some bumblebees <laughs> three days ago. So yeah, you just never really know. Um, another popular item though was the candy corns. Like always, this is a candy corn that I made from my own pattern. This is from a Halloween bunch pattern that I made uh, a maybe last year? No, two years ago, maybe? I'm not sure. But there's five patterns in there. There's the candy corn, the cauldron, a black cat, a ghost, and a pumpkin. I always make pumpkins for my markets. They do well. Also, the ghosts, I... I did have the ghost and the black cat and they both sold at my last market as well so that was really exciting um you might be able to see the black cat in the first video of like when all my stuff was fresh on the table and then in the last video it's gone <laughs> because it sold as well as the ghost um dinosaurs tend to be very popular as well but i don't think i sold as many this week as I normally do. I have my market bags here so I was kind of seeing the items inside. 
Um, I got asked for an octopus in a different color. So I have one in purple, but someone wanted one in a different color. So um, they're going to message me about that. We'll see. We'll see what happens if I make another octopus. Uh, I might just make one for fun because now it's kind of in my head. And now I kind of want to make another <laughs> just because um, I don't know. I think that was kind of like... I don't think I had a necessarily like best seller besides the Halloween items in general, like the fall items, like the ghost, the candy corns, the hats. Um, besides that, I don't think there was like necessarily one item that stood out. I I typically do make like one or two max, at sometimes three items of the same thing. So there are a couple exceptions with like the mushrooms because I make these if I'm bored. Um, the leggy frogs I did have quite a few of as well as bumblebees. I tend to like make a bunch of those when I make them. But besides that, like for example, even with the candy corn, I think I took th four to this market. So um, yeah, I, I it's kind of hard to be like, oh, best sellers because a lot of times I'll have like one or two of the items. So if they sell out, is that really a best seller? If I only had two, like, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. But it was a really, really fun market. Um, the weather was perfect because usually it's like hot by the time we take down. And it was good. It was wonderful. I had some friends stop by and that was a lot of fun. I did shop around as well during the market. I purchased some flowers. I purchased a bandana for Zuko. I'm gonna put that clip. I took a picture of him and I think a video as well. I'll put it in if I haven't already. Um, I think I bought something else from a vendor. I can't remember, but I did. I always shop um, other vendors. I love supporting other vendors and small businesses and yeah, the markets are so much fun. So that is it for today. I know it's kind of a short video, but I didn't really know um, what to talk about necessarily. I did get asked in my last market video about prices. So I it's hard because prices are different depending what area you're in and like I'm in California but I do live in a small town in California so it's kind of it, it is different you know depending where you are your minimum wage you know um I I don't always necessarily pay myself minimum wage with my prices I kind of just look at the amiyurumi when I finish it and think how much would I pay for that um that's kind of how I do it I do you know make sure I'm factoring in price of the yarn and a bit of how long it took me I mean it <laughs> we all know amiyurumi can take hours and let's say something took you like four hours five hours minimum wage might be like I think here it's 13 maybe we'll say 15 just for easy math <laughs> if it's 15 you know and it took you four hours it's 60 dollars you're I can't really charge 60 dollars for an amigurumi I think you know the the Timothy the T-Rex dinosaurs those take me three almost four hours I think and I'm pretty sure I charge either 20 or 25 for those I can't remember but I look at it and I'm kind of like okay how much would I pay for it um yeah oh I think they someone asked specifically about the candy corn I charge 15 for these um they do take me a bit of time maybe 45 minutes to an hour depending um how much like how fast I'm crocheting I crochet very slow I know there's a lot of um crocheters that crochet so much faster than I do. I know I'm a slow crocheter, so that's okay though. I really just do it because I love it and I am addicted to making amigurumi and if I wouldn't do markets, I would be stuck with so many amigurumi, so I might as well just do markets. Um, yeah, I hope I kind of answered that. There is a lot of amigurumis in my uh, my bags so it would be like way too many to show you guys and tell you guys each price but um yeah I hope I kind of answered that question if you guys have any other market questions or any 
questions at all, feel free to ask me and I will do my best to answer. Um, yeah, this was, it was a really good day and I enjoyed myself and yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and the market clips and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!